In this video today, I'm going to be doing lots of baking, lots of cookie eating. I'm basically going to compare two very good cookie recipes. I think we're going to get two very good, kind of similar batches of cookies. I'm going to be starting off with the Tanya Burr cookie recipe because I know it off the back of my hand. We're starting off with 200 grams of butter into the bowl, 300 grams of caster sugar, and we're just going to cream the butter and sugar together until it's nice and fluffy. That's creamed together now, and I'm going to crack in one egg. And now we're going to cream that together. 325 grams of self-raising flour. Once we've mixed this together, our dough is all formed. Ready to go. Ready for the chocolate. As you can see, my dough is a little bit dry, so I'm just gonna add a splash of milk. Now it's time for the chocolate. This is a moment of silence for Cadbury chocolate, for being the best chocolate in the world. Not only have I got Cadbury chocolate, I've also got Milky Bar chocolate. Still nice, but it doesn't smell quite like Cadbury's. I feel like with Tanya Bar cookies, you have to leave the chocolate chunky. I feel like that's always what Tanya and Zoella would do in their videos. So that's what we're gonna do for this recipe. Right, it's time to roll my sleeves up because we're going to mold up balls. Get your hands in there. And then I'm really peculiar when it comes to cookies. I will weigh my whole bowl, sorry, I'll weigh my whole ball of dough out and then divide it by how many cookies I want to make. This recipe makes around 12 cookies, 10 to 12 cookies, depending on how big you want them. Imagine just cooking this and making a giant cookie or a cookie pie. That would be delicious. Okay, so I've done my calculations. It works out at 114 grams per cookie. These are gonna be big. I'm going to leave my cookies in the fridge for at least half an hour and then I'll bake them. Apple and day keeps the doctors away. Okay, I had a little break, a little tea break and an apple. And now we're gonna make the Levain cookies. I've got in a bowl 160 grams of caster sugar with 160 grams of brown sugar. Like before, I'm gonna beat it together with some butter, except it's the addition of brown sugar. Into my mixing bowl, I'm going in with 130 grams of butter. I'm gonna crack in two large eggs and mix that together. Oh, blind, it hurts my arm. This recipe also uses two different types of flour. We're going in with 300 grams of plain flour, 200 grams of self-raising flour. Also going in there is a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate soda. And that's our dough. Let's give it a final mix. Now, this recipe, similar to Tiny Burr cookies, just says 400 grams of chocolate. So I'm just gonna add the exact same chocolate as I did for my Tanya Bar cookies. But we're gonna chop them up into small pieces instead of leaving them in chunks. And I'm really intrigued to see which I prefer, just for that reason, as well as obviously the cookie recipe. I'm not too sure about my chopping technique. I feel like a bigger knife would have been helpful. We're going in. Oh my God, I love that sound. <laughs> this recipe does actually say to weigh your cookie balls out and it says that they should be 125 grams. Big boys. I think different with these as well, with the Tanya Burr recipe, it doesn't even say that you have to put them in the fridge. I just like to do that because I've realized it makes them better. But with these, it says to leave them in the freezer. I'm gonna whack them in the freezer for at least 90 minutes. These are gonna take ages. Right, it's time to clear up all this mess and I'll see you when the cookies have set in the fridge and freezer and I've had my dinner. We're ready to bake. Here are the frozen New York City cookies. And here 
we have the Tanya Burr cookies. It's funny because as cookie dough, I think these look way more appetizing. They actually have different baking times as well. The Tanya Burr cookies, 10 to 12 minutes, and you literally take them out at that time for the New York City cookies. And considering they're not that much bigger, I do wonder, maybe it's because they're frozen. These, 17 minutes. So let's do it. Here we have the before. Going in the oven. Tanya Burr cookies out the oven. I feel like I shouldn't call them Tanya Burr cookies. How is it fair that she's literally got cookies named after her? It's not fair. I don't think they're her recipe, to be honest. I'm pretty sure she stole them off someone else. Tanya Burr cookies out the oven. Beautiful. So the other cookies have got about three to four minutes left and then we're going to let them both set for half an hour before cutting them up and seeing which one's better. I'm not gonna lie, so far, just from looking at them both, I love the look of the New York ones. But whether or not the taste will actually be better, I don't know, that we'll have to see. But they look so thick. Both batches of cookies are out of the oven and now I'm literally gonna leave them for maybe 20 minutes before cutting them because I don't want them to set completely. I want them to be warm, gooey, and then we're gonna compare. These do look very good though. These look like they've got a lot more height. The Tanya Bear ones have flattened. It's gonna be interesting. It's kind of like Tommy Fury versus KSR. Is there anything better than not one, but two? Freshly baked cookies. <laughs> Here we have Tanya Burr's cookie. Here we have New York style cookie. <gasps> Let's try them. First, the break. Lovely. That looks really good. Really good. Yes. That's gonna be a tough cookie to beat. Oh my gosh. The thing is, this one, I feel like because you froze the dough before, it's so perfectly risen, it's got thickness. And then the outer of the cookie is so crisp, like it's literally crunchy. And then because the chocolate is chopped up really small, you get a bit of chocolate with every single mouthful. Mm. And the brown sugar is such a nice flavor. It's really difficult because I've had these for the past 10 years. So it's almost difficult to compare. Maybe if I close my eyes, I'll be able to see. See, I'm drawn towards that one. It's the brown sugar. You know what? I think New York cookies have won. This is groundbreaking for me. I honestly, I would swear by Tanya Burr cookies. Please let me know what you think. Obviously you can't taste them. You can judge them based on how they look. I just finished off those two cookies in bed watching Harry Potter and I have some exciting news. I've actually changed my opinion. It's really weird. So when I first tried it, I think because the new New York cookie is so different to what I'm used to, I make Tanya Burr cookies quite frequently. So I have them all the time. So I know what to expect. Whereas with this new cookie, I was just astounded by the different texture because it is quite a different texture, but I do prefer Tanya Burr cookies. So the texture of the New York cookie it's lovely, it's amazing. I feel like it would probably win in a cookie contest compared to Tiny Bar Cookies, but I think I just prefer in Tiny Bar Cookies, they sort of melt in your mouth. Okay, ready? Go. You have to make sure it's like. Wow. 
Oh, this is so much gooier. Okay, 